In this video, you'll learn how to create a successful video content marketing program. I go through the steps I used to create one for a major North American real estate developer, one that generated millions of dollars of home sales, significant amount of brand awareness, and created a revenue generating marketing program. This is a three part series on creating a video content marketing strategy. In this part, I go through research, strategy creation, and how to get executive and company wide buy in if you're creating this for a brand or business. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Carl. Welcome to Next Level Video Marketing, a channel where you get the latest strategies and tips to help you achieve your marketing and business goals through video. Now remember, if this is your first time on this channel and you wanna get the latest strategies to maximize the impact of your videos, hit the subscription button below, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. So three years ago, I had a vision on creating a video content marketing program. I've run and developed many written programs, but never one that's purely video. At that time, I had just started with Brookfield Residential, but I believed it was the the right situation and the right environment to start this program. I was in an organization that was very open to new ideas, an industry ripe for content disruption, and a huge potential customer base. Not to mention in 2017, video was really taking off and could have been a great differentiator for us. So I started by doing these exact three steps when starting any content marketing strategy. One is research, two is creating the strategy, and three is getting the buy-in company-wide. So let's get started with research. And the very first step, sometimes one that people always forget is knowing the business. So knowing the business for me meant starting at ground level because I'd never worked in residential real estate before. I had experience in industrial and commercial, but not residential. So that meant going to all our properties. That also meant meeting all our teams, especially the ones who engage directly with our customers. That meant the sales teams, customer service teams, the construction teams, the interior design teams, and anyone else who had direct contact contact with potential or current customers. I can take care of that for you, sir. What side were you using? So knowing the business took me at least three to four months to really understand and grasp how Brookfield did their business, how they sold their homes, and how they developed their communities. The next step of the research was really understanding their target audience. Now, luckily, Brookfield had actually engaged with a company to create their buyer personas. They did focus groups, they did surveys, and so on. So I was actually lucky to receive all that research and really focus on who I wanted to be the target audience for this video content marketing strategy. So some of you starting your own programs may not have that research completed or you need to do that research, but I actually have a great resource for you. If you go to the Buyer Persona Institute led by Adele Ravella, you'll get a great resource for all the things about creating a buyer persona. That includes master classes, templates, case studies, and more. She actually goes through these five key steps on how to find and understand your buyer. That includes the priority initiative, which is why that person or brand started the search for the potential solution your business could provide. So the second is, what does success look like in the buyer's mind? What do they hope to achieve when they make this purchase? Third is perceived barriers. What are the obstacles and challenges that prevent your target audience from making the purchase maybe doing nothing, or maybe going with a competitor. The fourth one is decision criteria. What are the key things that are non-negotiable or table stakes when your target audience is making the decision? And finally, the fifth one is understanding the buyer's journey. Now, the next piece is competitor research. I did a significant amount of SEO research on all our competitors. The key thing that I want you to know is the research I did on their content programs. And this is what I found. Many of the programs were written formats, so there's a lot of blogs, but very little video. And for these blogs, I didn't even know who the experts were. Yes, some of them were written by maybe the realtor, the mortgage broker, maybe the construction guy, but I had a feeling they were just added as the author, but there was a ghostwriter who actually created the content. So when I checked YouTube, none of the home builders or developers were actually creating valuable content for home buyers, but rather focused on promoting their homes, their communities, and the typical lifestyle shots, including kids, everyone smiling, and lakes in a good way. Because when mahogany is your home, you'll find more places to chase the day. And really the channels that were creating that value to home buyers were ones created by realtors and experts in the home buying industry, such as mortgage brokers. And I also researched podcasts because I wanted to turn my videos into podcasts. And I found no home builders or real estate developers podcasting at all. And the final step of my research was engaging with our customer facing teams, including the sales teams, the customer experience teams, and the interior design teams. But before we get into the strategy, I did want to mention because 
because I wanted YouTube as the foundation for this video content marketing strategy, I needed to learn all about how to become essentially a YouTuber. Look at me, sure. Because my experience has been purely on written content programs, I had to do a lot of research, took a several courses. One of the best courses I took was called Video Ranking Academy because it actually dovetailed with my experience in SEO because it actually taught you how to rank your videos and how to get your videos found so people can watch. And I would recommend if you want to start a video content marketing strategy on YouTube, this is the number one course to take. You got to just start. You got to just press record. So after research and while I was learning more about YouTube, it was actually now time to craft a documented content marketing strategy. And I follow the Content Marketing Institute's three key elements when creating a content marketing strategy, which is audience, product, and outcome. So for audience, we were focused on first time home buyers in Alberta and in Canada. Product, which is the type of information our content will provide, this is helping first time home buyers understand the entire home buying process. And the outcome is so that they can make the best decision when purchasing a new home. I also wanted to make sure we had a successful content tilt, one that differentiated us from our competitors. Same, same, but different. So obviously the medium is one, which is video, because most of our competitors were doing blogs. And the second one was I wanted to showcase the experts, not just ghostwriters writing and then experts providing that input. I wanted our target audience to have that connection with the experts as if the experts were actually talking to them. The next step was creating an editorial mission statement, one where we could assess which content was actually part of our program and which content we didn't want. No, no. Mm -mm. So there's always a danger that your brand or business, instead of providing value to the home buyers, they want to promote their own product or service. So we wanted to make sure that any video that we produced met the standard of our editorial mission statement. So here's our editorial mission statement. To be the leading and trusted resource destination for first time home buyers in Alberta, so they can better understand the entire home buying process and can make the best decision when purchasing a new home. So the next section I wanted to talk about is the tactics we wanted to use. And as mentioned, I wanted our experts to be on camera so they can provide that information and make the connection to the home buyer. And because a lot of people are shy, nervous, and just don't want to be on the camera by themselves, I turned this into an interview-based program where it would just be me interviewing the expert and having that conversation and me asking all the questions that a typical first-time home buyer may ask when buying their first home. And the question we're gonna to answer today is, what are closing costs when buying a home or a condo? And I'll go through the entire implementation and execution of this strategy in part two, which you can see here and in the description below. So the next piece is the distribution strategy, because no matter how many videos you create, how great they are, if no one watches them, then it won't matter. So there are obvious places to share our videos, such as our internal teams, so marketing teams, sales teams, any of the front-facing customer teams, so they could share with their networks, our email lists, our social social channels, and any of the on-page and video SEO work that I would need to incorporate when creating this content. I also wanted to repurpose our videos to a podcast, so I needed to make sure we have a podcast hosting network. I also wanted to repurpose our video into a blog post because I wanted the opportunity to not only rank on YouTube, but also rank on Google as well. That means turning the transcription into an article, not necessarily a full rewrite, but more so on-page optimizations, including SEO optimized titles, subheaders, bullet points, embedding the videos in to improve dwell times and actually make the transcription look like an article. So the final piece of this distribution strategy, and I would say the most important piece is integrating this video content marketing strategy into the general marketing program of the business. That meant using our collateral for sales centers, integrating videos into our general campaigns, using the data from our videos into our retargeting campaigns and creating video funnels, and making sure our teams are actually using the videos for sales and marketing programs. A big reason why this program was so successful was because our teams were actually using the videos when interacting with customers, whether it was our sales teams using it to help with the sales process, and it's our construction teams sending these videos to our customers so they understand all the nuances and the gamut of how their homes are being built. So the final piece I want to talk about today is getting buy-in, especially if you're creating this video content marketing strategy for a brand or business. It's so easy to start creating content by yourself, but when you're creating one for an organization, you have to make sure everyone is bought in because there's so many more opportunities to fail if you do this in a silo.
the reason why this program was successful was because I did get buy-in. I got everyone's support, I managed the expectations, people knew what was going on and I wasn't working in a silo. And on top of that, if everybody knows what you're doing and everybody's bought in, they're more likely to provide you support and help. So how did I get buy-in? Well, that meant a lot of presentations. PowerPoint, PowerPoint, PowerPoint. A lot of presentations on even what content marketing was. So I presented to sales teams, I presented to our marketing leadership, to executives, and it wasn't just once, it was in the course of a year and it took about a year to actually get this program off the ground. I would say I presented about 10 to 15 times. Five of those presentations were the exact same to pretty much the same group, but they just needed to understand exactly what I was doing. I also had to manage the expectations because a lot of people thought we'd see success right away. And that's never the case with any kind of content program. It takes time. I always say it takes anywhere between 12 to 18 months and especially video, which I had never done before. I wanted to make sure I got the leeway to create videos, improve and successfully build an audience that we can market to. So in part two of creating a video content marketing strategy, which you can view right here, I go through the implementation and execution of the strategy we just created, as well as how to identify video topics to create and the process I use to shoot, edit, publish and distribute the videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.